The warehouse was the venue in New Orleans. A concert there was a totally different feel than a, a concert at Municipal Auditorium or anywhere else in the world. The warehouse just came along at a time where, you know, coming out of the coming out of the '60s, coming into the '70s, just that energy was there, you know. And and while that kind of scene had already happened in San Francisco and other places, you know, that was completely new to New Orleans. I was there just about every time I didn't have a gig or something. I just hang out at the warehouse because that was the place to be. Didn't have a lot of blacks. But when you came, you were welcome. It was a, kind of a local lightning rod for the same stuff that was kind of going on in a lot of places. And, and when you get lost in a sea of kids, and they're all smoking pot and, and carrying on and sneaking booze in there before we sold booze to them. It was about letting go and opening up and relaxing and letting your mind free, you know? There were things that went on in that joint that, uh, that you know, our parents would not have approved of. There was definitely a lot of pot smoking going on there, <laughs> for sure. If you're gonna be a bad boy or a bad girl, it probably happened down at the warehouse. Going to the warehouse was like going to church. You'd walk up to the place and it was, I mean, it was, it was just kind of unassuming. It's this big brick structure. It looked like a, any number of warehouses are in that part of town. Some people would say, what a seedy place, but that just added to it, you know, <laughs> it added to the character and all. You'd kind of smell it before you'd see it. The smell of sweat and the smell of marijuana and the smell of, of you know, stale beer, uh, you know, all the good things in life. It was the venue. You could have had a venue like this in another place, but it wasn't New Orleans. It was all about the music. The music was the thing. I think we were so provincial before that. We had our local music, and I do mean local. People in New Orleans had heard and grew up on blues and rock and roll and jazz. Irma Thomas played at my junior prom. Mac Rabinac played at my senior prom as Mac Rabinac. I think people here were more open to whatever kind of music would flow in, in and out of the warehouse. We would hear all kind of stuff in there. But as far as having a place or a club that size, that was just a first. And to have bands like Allman Brothers and King Crimson, all these type of acts coming through there on a weekly basis, it, it was just phenomenal. That was that place where we felt connected to something much bigger than just a New Orleans venue. Our music of our time and all those combined to make it something very, 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 very special.